lumbar spine. So to start out, we'll clear the SI joint. Um, to do that, you want to palpate the ASIS and kind of cup your hands around the ASIS so that you're not too pokey. Um, what you want to do first is compression. So get right over the patient and push out against the ASIS and then relax. If that doesn't produce any pain, then you want to move on to distraction of the SI joint. So to do that, just place your hands on the outside of the ASIS and push your hands together. Okay, if that was okay and she had no pain, I'll move on to the hip. So what you want to do is grab the leg, have them place their hand beside, beside them so it doesn't get in the way. What you want to do is grab their thigh and pull them into flexion. and then bring them back down. If that didn't produce any pain, then you want to test internal rotation. Bring their lower leg out. If that didn't produce any pain, you then want to combine motions and take the patient into flexion with adduction. If that didn't produce any pain, <laughs> you'll then add in internal rotation Again, if no pain, you want to add in compression of the joint. So kind of pushing and pulling down on their knee. And then gently take them out of that position. So if she had no pain with any of those, uh, you want to, or that clears the hip. So next you want to move on to clearing the knee. So to do that, we'll start with, um, with flexion. So you want to take them into maximal knee flexion, and then overpress by pushing on either side with your hands. If that didn't get any pain, you want to take them into full extension, kind of grabbing by the calcaneus, and place one, one hand on the tibial tuberosity, and overpress. Okay, and relax. So that would clear the knee. So next you want to clear the ankle. So I'll have the patient flip over on their stomach. So to clear the ankle, you want to take their, take their knee into flexion. And you want to provide a quick flick into plantar flexion, like this. And then quick flick into dorsiflexion. Lastly, you want to take them into inversion. And then relax none of those motions produced any pain, then all of the joints below the lumbar spine are clear.